If you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. Welcome back to FTD Reacts. I'm Sarah Carvalho and I am a teacher and I am here today reacting to teachers in movies. So let's get started. I'm really excited to see what they have gathered for us. <gasps> He's so young! <laughs> What is going on? Peace and quiet. <laughs> He's climbing out the window. Some days you just want to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to honestly say that there are days that you honestly feel like climbing out the window. I think especially like when the kids, they just write a test and they come back after lunch recess. Their first question is, did you mark my test? How did I do? Did I pass? You just wrote this test and you're asking me if I have graded every single one of them. No, I can really empathize with him there. Yeah, I get it. Oh, oh. what? What do you want? What do you want? Just go! Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> oh, perfect. Just perfect. Oh. I'm sorry. Wow. I just, I was looking for Marianne. Did she say anything about being mad at me? Because she just smacked the bejesus out of me. No, that's my fault. I'm so sorry, Olive. I'm sorry, but I, I, I messed up. Okay, I just goddamn shit. Goddamn messed up. Really goddamn shit bad. Goddamn. Is this the principal? Okay, don't get me wrong, because I I love it, but I just, I don't think you're supposed to use that kind of language in front of a student. Yeah, you know yeah, what else exactly. you're not supposed to do is sleep with them, but that didn't stop me. Goddamn shit. Oh. Wait. Oh my God. Oh, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging you or anything, but oh my God. I, I am. I, I'm judging. What does that have to do with me? Because, you know, you should know that my marriage is not great, okay? We haven't slept together in like, in months, in months, all right? So finally, this great looking guy comes in and he's nice to me, you know? And he's not a minor, this is legal. It's legal because he's, he's been here forever, okay? He's like, he's not the sharpest Christian in the Bible, all right? And then he finds out that he has Christian. chlamydia. And so then he's telling everybody that it was you. So he has to say, cause he didn't want me to lose my job and he doesn't want to get in trouble either, so. He said it's you. Sorry. But no I'll, I'm going to fix it. Olive, okay, I'll tell everyone. I'm going to tell everyone that it's me. Okay, I'll just, I'll lose my job. And, you know, whatever else I lose. And then that's okay. Maybe it was becoming a habit of mine to help the downtrodden. Or maybe no. I just couldn't stand to see my favorite teacher's marriage crumble. Either way, I decided to help. I could have cleaned. No! I could have easily given it to Micah. I mean, who knows? Women oftentimes don't show symptoms, and the whole world knows I've been whoring around. No, you haven't. No, you haven't, because a real whore can't admit it to herself, much less others. Trust me. <sighs> okay, just disgusting. That is really what I have to say here. Just Principal looks like principal. First of all, swearing in front of your student, telling her how horrible your marriage and your sex life is, then calling yourself a, well, a lady of the night, basically, then letting her take the fall for the fact that you slept with a student. And you slept with a student. What the heck are you thinking? Okay, people, okay, for those of you who don't know, teachers, there's this thing called the blue pages. You know, like the yellow pages, you go to find a phone number. I know it doesn't exist anymore, so some of you may have no idea what I'm saying. But the blue pages are for teachers. And when you do things like this, 
you appear in the blue pages. This lady right here, front page of the blue pages. Just that's all I have to say is no. Everyone just wants to feel important in life. Thing is, no matter how important they are, there's always gonna be someone more important. People get so uptight about that. Oh no, they're better than me. It's like, hmm. God, they don't realize important doesn't matter. It's confidence. Most confident person no. around wins every single time. It doesn't matter if it's real. It doesn't matter if they're pulling it straight out of their ass. People are dumb. They don't know the difference. Just trying to push the boundaries you know there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell you the real reason I'm having lunch with you today. You see, I don't, uh, I don't really have any uh, friends at the moment. Oh, and to be completely shit. honest with you, I'm not interested at all. My entire generation is a bunch of mouth breathers. They literally have a seizure if you take their phone away for a second. They can't communicate without emojis, and they actually think that the world wants to know that they are eating a taco. Exclamation point! Smiley face! Smiley face! Smiley. Like we give uh -huh. a fuck. Oh. I. All right. I'm an old soul. I like old music and old movies and old even old people. Bottom line is I have nothing in common with the people out there and they have nothing in common with me. I feel like she's me. Nadine? Max? Maybe nobody likes you. Oh! <gasps> no! You're a dick. Yeah. Maybe nobody likes you, huh? My what? I'm like speechless here when this started. I'm like, oh, this girl's a jerk. Like, oh yeah, of course she's in detention. She probably did something stupid, pushing the boundaries here. But then she actually opens up to the teacher. That is a teachable moment right there. That is that moment where the shell starts to crack and the kid opens up to you and they're looking for support here. This guy, I'm gonna just sharpen my pencil and then I'm gonna tell you that nobody likes you. They're kids. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to do stupid things and they're going to say things that they shouldn't. Dang, that was savage. Ah. <laughs> oh, the cool teacher. Is that what he's doing? You look pretty nervous. Yes, sir. You're sweating like a pig. <laughs> yes, sir. Your eyes are all bloodshot. Yes, sir. You've got pot, don't you? Oh, uh, he does. He does I it. Ah! Uh. Uh. <gasps> What's he gonna do? Uh-uh! You know what he's this gonna do with that. <laughs> The whole like cool teacher act thing, using your physical size to intimidate a kid. I'm not for that. I don't think that that's okay. I don't think that that's fair. Um, you should always get down on the student's level so that you're talking to them on an equal playing field. And he just took that kid's pot and the kid's chips. So I think we know exactly what he's planning to do with that. Blue pages, blue pages for sure. Health class. Don't have sex, cause you will get <laughs> pregnant and die. Don't have sex in the missionary position. Don't have sex standing up. Just don't do it. Promise? Promise? Okay, everybody take some rubbers. At your age, you're going to be having a lot of urges. You're going to want to take off your clothes and touch each other. But if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. <gasps> if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. I can't even. Your basic conversation here is don't touch each other. You'll get an STI and die. Here, take some rubber. I did have a fifth grade teacher, Mr. Johnson. If you happen to be watching this, that's at you. Totally decided he was going to skip over any sexuality studies. So that year, we learned nothing related to like the human body and procreation and how that whole process happens. Other than that though, most teachers do a very thorough job. Oh, this is funny, but not realistic. And I will not carry myself down to die. When I go to my grave, my head will be high. My head will be high. What does that mean? Hmm. Anybody? No. They, they're not, they're, she doesn't have their attention at all. Is there something I should know? 
Mm. Yeah, I'll tell you. You read it on Raul, Guzmado, and Emilio. Yeah, you got Emilio put into detention. It wasn't none of your business, Chismosa. And you got Raul and Guzmaro suspended. How are they gonna get the fucking ass? And you got hey, Emilio. I didn't read on anybody. Anyways, you Chismosa. Snitches get stitches. Do you want to talk about this? Well, if you all feel that strongly about it, leave the room. What? Whoa. Hey, listen. Nobody's forcing you to be here. You have a choice. You can stay or you can leave. Lady, why are you playing this game? We don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice on whether or not you're here? No. If we leave, we don't get to graduate. If we stay, we got to put up with you. Well, that's a choice, isn't it? You have a choice. You either don't yeah. graduate or you have to put up with me. It may not be a choice you like, but it is a choice. Man, you don't understand nothing. I mean, you don't come from where we live. You, you're not bust here. Do you have a choice to get on that bus? Man, you come and live in my mm. neighborhood for one week, and then you tell me if you got a choice. But there are a lot of people who live in your neighborhood who choose not to get on that bus. What do they choose to do? They choose to go out yeah. and sell drugs. They choose to go out and kill people. They choose to do a lot of other things, but they choose not to get on that bus. The people who choose to get on that bus, which are you, are the people who are saying, I will not carry myself down to die. When I go to my grave, my head will be high. That is a choice. Yeah. There are no victims in this classroom. Mm-hmm. You tell them. <clears throat> Why do you Ooh. care anyway? You just here for the money? Because I make a choice to care. And honey, the money ain't that good. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> the money is not that good. Let me tell you 100% teachers are teachers because they are passionate about it, because they care about children and education and making a difference. We don't do it for the money. There is a lot of stress involved, but it is stress that we welcome because we are passionate about it. But it's definitely not a six-figure paycheck. So let's be clear on that. Life is a choice. It's all about choices. And as teachers, I can relate to this because we literally talk every day with our students about choices and how choices have consequences. And that's a huge thing that I can relate to is that conversation of choices. The choice is yours, right? And that's kind of what we try to instill in our students. All right, friends, it looks like those are all our videos for today. I don't know about you, but I had an awesome time. I wonder how many of these videos you've seen. There's actually, like I said, a few movies in here that I had not seen. So that was great. Let us know what you think. Do you agree with me? Have you experienced this? Are you a teacher, a student? Let us know. Maybe you completely disagree with my reactions. Either way, we want to hear from from you so leave your comments below and check out our other video teacher reacts to student tiktoks that was a fun one so my friends we will see you here next time on ftd reacts that's all for now bye